Good morning and welcome, Songo here with another video. This time we are playing Quick Match on the live servers. Playing the brand new Kilthos. Because it, I felt that hit my video on his talents, his talent free work, were not quite as good as I wanted. I mean, they were very detailed and all, but, yeah, kind of boring to watch. I think my guide alone, which you can find in the description of basically every video, well, is, it fulfills this duty better than a video. So yes, I haven't picked a talent yet, so let's pick. Mono Addict. This is the worst map for region globes, so I'm just gonna show you just how well it does. Bastard. That was my trick for trading. One region globe. Because I can normally, like, get this arcane barrier by 15 minutes, no later, even on this map, or level 15. There we go. Ah. Hmm. I'm derping up. Okay. Uh, I derped up there. I underestimated the range of gravity laps. Uh, I'm not sure why. That's kind of nubbish for me, especially. <laughs> and gonna wait. Cool. He let me grab that. And every so often, I'm just poking in with my B and W to prevent from losing out on mana. I'm going down here because, um, bug, the, they aren't contesting top or mortal, and really neither is our team contesting the mortal. I don't know why! Like, did something change? This is no longer a viable strategy to instantly go to the immortals? Um... Okay, um, I'm gonna defend, I guess. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, anyone? Like, at all? Well, seems we finally decided that getting the immortal was a good call. So that's good. Hmm. <clears throat> And then we just all left for the lanes, even though we've got Abther soaking and they don't have anyone, so, okay, that's very odd. That thing is, we probably could have won this immortal if they didn't do that, but no, nah, whatever. Abther is soaking up, so... No reason for us to move in there. Okay, cool. Placing a flame strike underneath. And just every so often. Chin. Um, okay. Well, um, last time I played, people moved out of the way of his abilities, but I guess Chen doesn't really care too much about it. He's a big blob of health. It shall be done. Uh, Slug cannot counter push a oh boy, Lunara too incredibly easily. So I'm coming up here to counter push Lunara, although she just went out of mana. Okay, cool. Uh, 
I took Monotap at level 4, so I am I should be much more um, lenient with my use of Mana. For some reason I'm holding on to it a lot. I'm not sure why, I just am. So, I'm taking Sunfire Enchantment so that I get more damage. Wow. Nice hook. I have to say, really nice. Okay. Well, hi. I didn't hear you come in. Sorry. I would have prepared prepared everything for you. Hmm. Did he get Oh wow! <laughs> nice! Nice! <laughs> I I didn't think his uh the Haka's grab was that long reach. Either that or I'm completely underestimating the general ranges of these abilities on this map. I I have no idea why. I I've not encountered this problem before. Perhaps it's because I'm recording. I don't know. I've not recorded a gameplay video in quite a while. So, yeah, that's quite possibly a... Oh, get away from me! Get away! Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Like, what the hell? Okay, gonna do that, and then stun him, try and get out of his reach, and since he's disengaging, I'm cutting off his retreat, although, um, Jen already body blocked him. Ah, uh, okay. Was having a hard time finding a spot between these stuns, so that I could actually, um, you know, be safe. I want a well right now, so my team was fighting, but I thought that me dying was going to be much more impactful than me trying to poke in and help a little bit. Only at 6 at the uh, 7 minute mark, I prefer having... 1 to 1 ratio of region to minutes at no I missed a region globe yet I was too busy talking or at least 1 to 5 1 1.5 to 1 hence that's like much better I uh living bombed the wizard minion since it would die immediately and thus spread my bomb so that I get both the explosion and the urn and the explosion again for the living bomb on stitches which is very useful in my honest opinion what I did with my ultimate, the Phoenix, was just try and zone them off from my Immortal, so that the Immortal could do all the dirty work. I don't know why the Haka, like, you know, burrowed there. That was a pretty stupid idea. Okay, let's take this. Yay, Chin's respawning. I was almost doubtful that it was going to be like that, given the recent results of this game, but I am still confident. So, yay! For teamwork. Okay, let's also take this. We can do it. This slug is being exceedingly cautious with his positioning. But considering the Haka, it's reasonable to do so. He's got this, I want to defend bottom. They've got a somewhat sizable push going on, and this should just zone them off. 
Oh, he gorged. Yeah, good job. I'm gonna... Oh, shit. Oh, get away from that, I'm lagging. Cut off retreats. Ugh. Ken kind of, like, ruined that by, you know, uh, pushing him into us, but it achieved the same goal. Awesome. Good job, you guys, and the Immortals are spawning. And the Mercs are pushing with four down. Want to make sure that uh, Sylvanas definitely knows that the Immortals are, have spawned. No reason to uh, let them make assumptions when they don't need to. So, yay! Oh, I wasted that. And as you can see, this is kind of why we picked up both of the mana talents. Because I picked up Pyroblast at level uh, 13, which the basically halves my cooldowns, so long as I can keep Living Bomb up, which is incredibly significant. But it runs through a lot of mana. So, yeah. My pleasure. It lets me just spam out this uh, stuff. Ah! Uh, oh, nice. Done. Nice done. Okay. Reapplying my Living Bomb. Trying to zone them out with that. Living Bomb was on our moral. Don't want to get caught by that. Uh, okay, cool. Good job. But you're gonna die. I'm not gonna dive in there. Oh uh, no! Move! Yeah, I got it. Okay, stun him. It's gonna be risky to try and help the immortal, but let's just poke in there with this. MP. Ah. I hate this expanding creep. So much. So, here we have a choice. Like, all of these are really good options in my personal opinion. So, I think I'm gonna take Fury of the Sunwell for the purpose of, like, dealing more stationary damage and being safe at it. Sun King's Fury does even more damage, but it's rather unsafe since it, well, forces you to, like, uh, you know, stay there and auto-attack. And you telegraph who your target is with Living Bomb. So, again, not safe. Okay, gonna uh, just Living Bomb that. Help to clear it out. And... That was that. We've got this now. Yeah. And Twin Spheres is just generally really great. For everything. I'm surprised that bitches stayed in my flame strike for both times. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's ping the team to get these immortals. Make sure they know for certain. It shall be done. Again, Abathar is really cautious with his positioning. But it's reasonable. I'm burning my ultimate because I want to burn this down. Uh, more than I value the ultimate. Ah, I was trying to living bomb, um, but it moved instead. I don't know why. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, so close to getting her. Thank you. 
Holy shit. I did not see you there. Yeah, I got you, fucker. That's why you do not take Pyroblast. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you've got... The enemy has two seconds to respond to you. So, I could kill you be even if you managed to kill me. Which is not a good thing. This is why I called Pyroblast a trap. However, many people, for whatever reason, just see Pyroblast and think, Oh god, oh god, run. I don't know why. Like, even in rank 1, it still happens. But, yeah. That, he was full health when he started channeling Pyroblast. And he died at the same time that I did. Oh, I'm not going to get those. See, it's 15 minutes in on the worst possible map. They are only level 16. And I'm nearly done with this. I've also, like, been negligent of, like, these region globes. If I had been trying harder, then I most definitely would be able to... No! Stop pushing him onto me. There. Okay. And there we go. Going to cut off. Hmm. Odd. Okay. Good job. Bitches. You did stuff, I guess. Region Globe! I have to prove that Arcane Barrier is the best. Ugh. Yeah, as I said, this is the worst possible map for collecting Region Globes. And I already would have collected all of them if I had collected the ones from the mortals and been more diligent to get those from the lanes as well and to get more mercs sooner. So in general I was not doing very well to get region globes. But you know, well it still was not a factor in this game, except for the fact that I just got straight up a ton of mana. Which, along with my level 4 talent, equates to even more mana. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty significant when you're spending twice as much mana because of Pyromania, or Pyromaniac. If you're being diligent to not spend as much mana on PvE and instead keeping it for team fights, you do not need this mana talent, especially on this map, Battlefield of Eternity. So, but, you know, you're dealing more siege damage. I'm nowhere. Abathur is top. Hero damage? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I did not expect that. But I am a good solid pl second place for everyone on my team. Except contrib XP contribution because I get dying. Like, most deaths on my team. Tied for most. Yeah, overall I just straight up was not playing well, but I think you can see the strength of this build. Let's check out Kel'Thas's enemy Kel'Thas. He took Netherwind. Gravity Crush. Again, I explained my problems with this in my guide, which is found in the description. Pyroblast. Yeah, I showed an example where, you know, this was completely counterproductive and he would have, you know, killed me without Pyroblast at all. But because he wants to use Pyroblast, he died. He took Pyromania and sung 
on King's Fury. Again, a really risky talent, because it's not only telegraphing who you want, but it's also forcing you into auto attack range to do your damage. Which, this guy was losing on the losing team. You should not be... You need to take risks, but not in your build. Yeah. I could have afforded to uh, take risks and take this risky talent because my team was doing exceptionally and I wasn't really threatened most of the time. Of course, I am tied for most deaths on my team. So yeah, I'm perhaps overly cautious and this was... But still, the fact remains. I hope you found this informative, and if you think there's anything that I could change or do better, please let me know in the comments. So, thank you and have a good day. Have fun.